Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Dark Divine Feminine Tarot and Epiphanies. If you like this comment, please be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Today, and I'll be here all the time, by the way. Today, we're going to go ahead and jump into July for our Virgo friends. Okay, so what is July bringing? Hello, what is July bringing for our Virgo friends? What is it? What's July bringing for our Virgo, friend, Virgo friends? Mmm. Okay, so we don't see you being too too passionate. We see you really being in your emotions. Virgo, in the month of July, we see you really being in a more emotional space. And we see you being kind of all over the place emotionally, okay? We see your emotions cycling back and forth. We see a lot of feminine energy coming through you in the month of July. Your emotions are going to be here, there, and everywhere. Um, we don't see you really starting anything new. We don't really see you starting anything new. Um, we see Our Lady of the Star Blossom in reverse. So we don't really see you starting anything new. We don't even really see you reaching for too many spiritual epiphanies during this time. You're really just going to be in an emotional space. Okay? Our Lady of Blessing bestowed in the reverse. Yeah, so we really don't see you, you know, really looking for blessings. We don't really see you looking for answers. We see you just really being in an emotional space. And focusing on protection. What's going on with you, girl? Focusing on protection. You're emotional about something. You're emotional about something. Hmm. We see your ancestors looking over you. We see that guardian energy. We see that guardian energy coming through very strong. Because you are really going through something. We see awakening in the reverse. You're not in a time of awakening. Like you are, we're seeing you really being emotional about something. Again. And not really being into your, your magic, or we got magic and ritual in reverse. Not really being into the spiritual side of things. Okay? Not really seeing you being in the spiritual side of things, and we see spring in reverse. So we see a lot of autumn energy. You know, we see that energy of the point where things are about to go into restoration. So you are about to go into a point where you are about to kind of go through something and come through something and come out on the other side. And we don't see any messages disturbing this. This is going to be a rebirth for you in the month of July. We don't see no messages or nothing coming through to disturb this. It's not going to be disturbed. You are literally about to go through this. Okay? In the month of July, point blank and period, you're really about to go through it because it's a rebirth time for you. So you're about to really be in a space where it's all about really an awakening. It's really going to be about an awakening for you during this time. Virgo in the month of July. Again, we see these emotions just running over. Okay? We see you being very emotional. Very emotional. Very emotional in the month of July. But stand in your ground nonetheless. You're not going to fall down. You're not going to break down. This ain't that. This is just emotions. This is just emotions. And we see you in, in a situation where you're in a, a good, like a best friendship with somebody. You have a best friend. Because I'm not getting romantic vibes from that. I'm seeing best friend energy. Okay. And this best friend is going to lift you up and really keep you feeling like a queen. Like, girl, it's all good. Don't even worry about it. You know, you're going through this right now. But on the other side of things, you finna be doing you. Okay, this best friend is going to hold you up and keep you feeling like a queen. But at the same time, you're going to have to hang in there. Because best friend can't do it all. So you're going to really be hanging in there, being tough, being strong, finding balance. Point blank and period. Finding balance. Detaching from the things you don't need. This is about to be shadow work season for you. In fact, I get the vibe you already been doing shadow work. And you coming into the hard, the payoff part that's going to take you into that rebirth. So keep control of yourself. Keep control of everything going on around you. That emperor energy. Keep control of everything that's been going on around you. Or that continues to go on around you. And alchemize this energy. Don't let it go to waste. Alchemize this energy. Speak your truth. Stand on it. Be bold. Make people respect you in all that you do. Okay? Okay? Because you're going to have people that's going to be trying to hang on. Like they're going to be like, oh, well, she ain't finna get rid of me. Baby, purge them people. You got some people you're about to have to flat out purge from your life. Like, you're going to have to get these folks 
straight up out of your life. Period. Nothing else to talk about, no more discussion. Especially at a time like this when you're going through these emotional spaces. Okay, you're going through a lot of feelings. You're kind of remembering things from the past. You've been doing shadow work. You've been trying to look into how you got to certain places so that you can rebirth and reaffirm yourself and get to the next level. And you got people that's going to be sitting back, seeing you do this, seeing this coming to you, seeing you coming to your next level, seeing you coming to your next wave. And they're going to feel like, oh, well, she ain't going to get me out of her life. See, because they've been getting over. These people have been parasitic. Okay, so we're just going to look into how should you address these people that try to hold on when they know damn well they time in your life is up, but they trying to hold on at the crevices. But these people, these people are about to see, right, the season that you're in. They're about to see the season that you're in. They're going to see you going through it, fighting your way all the way to the other side to this rebirth with no problem where you finna come out on top doing you winning i see three to four friends they're about to see you coming through all of this and they're gonna try to act like oh you know you're not doing your thing do not speak to them when you're going through this time this this spiritual rebirth time and period do not speak to these people okay don't speak to these people because they mean you no good and they're just trying to hang on because energetically like any other parasite they feel that energy of y'all and look at this look at this and I wasn't even picking that deck up for this reason. What we got? Ten of Swords energy on the bottom of the deck. It's over with for those people. It's over with for those people. And don't let the fact that they're not ready to go. Don't let that have nothing to do with the decisions that you make. It's time out for them. So, and they're going to be talking and gossiping, but we don't care about that either. Because they're not going to understand what's going on because they caught on the old frequency that you're not even on no more. You have you moving on, transcending, and you're going to especially step into um, the height of your life. Hey, I'm doing me, and I cut them off and left them behind in the month of October. With that being said, um, that is our Virgos, okay, for the month of July 2023. If you enjoyed this uh, reading, please be sure to like subscribe. I'll be here doing this all the time. You can come through, hang out with me. We can do more of these readings. Hopefully the next time you come back, yes, you will have cut off those people that's sitting around trying to be leeches and parasites in your life. And remember, they're going to feel the burn, especially because they're going to see you stepping into your divine and they're going to see that cleanliness, that, that glow and that cleanliness coming into your energy. And they're going to see you moving on. So don't fall for it. Don't believe the hype. Let them fools go, okay? Tell them I said so, huh? All right, and I'll see y'all in the next one.